Hi, I'm Shilpi. I head the coaching practice at Bizdivas Foundation. And I've had the privilege of working with some amazing, wonderful, successful women leaders. In my years of practicing coaching, what I've found when working with women leaders, that many a time, there's something which holds them back. And these are women who are doing extremely well, but something is still holding them back. They have infinite potential, but they have not tapped into their infinite potential. So when I delve a little deeper, what I found was what was holding them back was absolute confidence. And I use the terminology absolute confidence because it's not that they're not successful. They're doing extremely well. They are confident, but they're not confident enough to tap into that infinite potential. Let me ask you a few questions. How many of you proactively raise your hand for that coveted project around the corner? How many of you feel that you're just perfectly ready for the next role? How many of you feel absolutely confident to do the job as expected out of you? You're not the only one, believe me. So what is confidence? I like the simple definition of Dr. Ivan Joseph. The ability to believe in yourself, to be able to do any task, no matter what the oddities are, no matter what the adversities are, no matter what the difficulties are. And if you do not have this ability, you can develop it right now. Because the good news is that self-confidence is a skill which can be developed at any point of time. So what do we need for, to do for it? Step number one, assess the gap. What is it that shakes your confidence? Why don't you feel confident enough? Is it the fear of failure? Or fear of being a subject of laughter? Or share the thought, what would someone say? Assess and be aware, that's the first step. Point number two, we all have a mind and we all hear a mind chattering with us. And more often than not, our mind is pretty critical of who we are, how we look, my weight, my hair, my dress, my presentation. Huh, nothing seems to be perfect. This has a huge impact on self-confidence. So do not always give so much weightage to your overcritical mind. Do not engage in self-limiting talk. Step number three, clarity of vision. Be clear of what you want. What is your vision? It, it works magically on your self-confidence. And once you know what is the vision you are following, invest in acquiring skills to accomplish that vision. Invest in yourself. I'm going to be back very soon with another video on building up your confidence where I'll give you a very simple exercise regime. And if you follow that regime every day, I'm sure you're going to be more confident than what you are now. Stay happy, stay confident.